Hey guys, this is Tim Tibbetts of MajorGeeks.com, and today we're going to take a quick look at IOBit Protected Folder. It allows you to lock folders or files on your drive and determine who can see them, read them, write to them, modify them, etc. Uh, obviously, you don't see the program on the screen. All you see is my Windows Explorer, and there's a reason for that. Once you set the program up, you're going to put your password in. Now, if you want to lock a file, you can you can start IOBit Protected Folder up and manually do it or drag and drop. But I wanted to show you how it gets added to the context menu by simply clicking right click. Let's pick a random JPEG, and you can see it says here "Lock by Protected Folder." So you click that, the program comes up. Ask for the password that you used on install. And as you can see, it's now locked. We'll slide this over a little bit. And the file is now gone from view. You're going to want to consider your options at this point as well, because you want to know, do you want to hide it? Do you want to let people run it, copy it, read it? Do you want to let people move it, modify it, delete it? And determine what you want to do. If you really want to lock everything down, you can leave everything on, which will hide it, as we just showed you. And obviously, with it hidden, they're not going to be able to do anything with it. You can also run through, change your password. Not much here to waste your time with. The exclude list, which is fine the way it is, but it makes sure you don't lock your recycle bin, that you don't lock your system restore points and program files, things that have to run. And all of a sudden, Windows is going to go to run something in your program files and it doesn't see it. That would be a problem. You can leave it alone. If you do tinker around with it by adding, editing, or removing, you can always come back to here and simply click Recommended and it's back to recommended and it should solve any problems you may have caused. Your user interface, as you can see, it's a very, very simple user interface, but you can enable the slideshows, enable the fade effects, stuff like that, and of course, there's a ton of languages in here as well. Okay, let's go back to the front. Now that we have this red sunset JPEG protected, let's unprotect it. And this is the basic interface that we want to get to. If you started the program up, you wanted to drag and drop. It's all you have to do. So let's take the exact same picture and drag it over here and as you can see it's now protected and once again by selecting it and unlocking it there it is it's back there isn't much more to this program it's a very very simple way to password protect your files and your folders it has 10 free uses in the trial version it's 1995 and when you get down to the final three, it's going to warn you that you have three uses left, two uses left, one use left, at which point it will let you unlock anything you've locked, which is nice if you decide not to purchase the program or you need to get at programs that you had previously locked. You can find a download link to IOBit Protected Folder in the file description below on YouTube, or you can go to MajorGeeks.com, the security section, and look for IOBit Protected Folder. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.